The Alabama Public Library Service Board this morning voted to cut ties with the American Library Association. It follows mounting pressure from state officials and parents who have raised concern over the ALA's influence on Alabama libraries. News 19 State Capitol Party Mary DeBerry Temple explains what the, uh, this means for the state's library agency. APLS Board Chairman Ron Snyder called the membership with ALA a distraction. The board then voted unanimously to not renew its membership with the ALA once it expires in March. This does not affect local libraries, which can still be a part of ALA. Bye. The vote caps off months of controversy. Critics say ALA's position that minors have a right to access all books doesn't protect them from inappropriate content. They believe that um, restricting minors access to sexual content is censorship, and that is not the definition of censorship. They also raise concerns over ALA president Emily Drabinsky, who has described herself as a Marxist. Well, it concerned me just the fact that she was elected by the membership body, knowing that she was a Marxist. APLS director Nancy Pack says leaving the ALA will mean a loss of some resources. We will not be getting uh, journals from the American Library Association. We won't be get, getting discounts to attend their conferences or meetings. There could also be ripple effects to local libraries. Angie Hayden with Read Freely Alabama says grant funding APLS gets through ALA for local libraries may not be available anymore. Alabama libraries who desperately need funding and training are going to be harmed um, over what essentially amounts to political optics. The board also gave an update on the attorney general's opinion it requested months ago, saying it received that opinion this morning, but won't discuss it until next meeting. Back in August, APLS asked the AG what authority they have to regulate local content. Now, the APLS said it would not share that opinion from the AG, but the AG's office says it will be posted publicly in one week. Reporting in Montgomery, Maddie Beertemple, News 19.